back here. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start with this gentleman to my left, Harry Manaka, who I affectionately call <laughs> Uncle Harry. Harry joined the Something Else Band in 1967 after hanging around Parkview Women's Club and Roger Young Auditorium as a spectator. Show of hands, who would spend their weekends dancing at uh, Roger Young Auditorium? Okay. All right, all right. As the keyboardist for the group, he initially played the Farfisa Combo Compact Organ, later switching to the iconic Hammond B3. That's a beast. Was like 400 pounds. That's it. 450 pounds. Oh my goodness. Uh, the instrument that was the instrument he became known for on the Sansei dance party circuit. In January 1968, something else became the house band at Itchy Foot Mos, a club located behind Cal State LA in El Serrano. Harry later played keyboards with Long Time Coming in 1971, joining his longtime friend and UCLA schoolmate. <laughs> How are you, Yoshida? Hi! <laughs> Tina Fujino also became a member of the group at the same time. <laughs> Long Time Coming became the first all Sansei band to play in Japan on an extended engagement in 1972. In early 73, Harry and guitarist David Jingu reformulated the Something Else Band and started playing at the Baby Lion Supper Club as the house band. Hey, yeah, some memories of Baby Lion. <laughs> Harry and David later purchased the Baby Lion and became business partners as well as bandmates. All right. <laughs> David began playing music with his older brother, cousin, and friends at age 11 in a group called The Essence. The group performed at Pancake Breakfasts, Community Center Dances, Nisei Week Talent Shows, School Dances, Battle of the Bands. David joined the Prophets Band at 15 and played the trumpet and flugelhorn, as well as singing lead and background vocals. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Gerald, slash dad. Well, thank you. you. Well, um, again, we're so, so grateful to see all you folks showing up here today on a Saturday afternoon, but... Uh, Speaking of Hicks, I grew up in the Imperial Valley, and my dad had a trucking company. One summer I worked for him, and instead of paying me, he said, you can have an electric guitar and an amp or a Honda motorcycle. Tough decision. I still have that guitar and amp today, and it started me playing rock and roll music. We, had, we played down there. We didn't have very few sanseis. I don't know if there's any here from Imperial Valley, but uh, we uh, played gigs all through, uh, actually I was in eighth grade when I got in, uh, put in a group called Little Paul and the Starlighters and played ever since. Moved up here to go to uh, business college and my uncle was in the J.A. Optimus and he said you should put a band together and play for these society functions.